Commemorations were held across the United States Wednesday to mark the 12th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks. Moments of silence were held at the times each plane crashed, at the World Trade Center, at the Pentagon, in rural Pennsylvania, and when the World Trade Center's North Tower fell. At the Pentagon, President Obama paid tribute to the nearly 3,000 people who lost their lives. We pray for the memory of all those taken from us. Nearly 3,000 innocent souls. Our hearts still ache for the futures snatched away, the lives that might have been. At the World Trade Center, 9-11 families continued the annual tradition of reading each victim's name out loud. After honoring her slain uncle, 15-year-old Brooklyn teenager Brittany Kofresi made an appeal for peace as the U.S. considers military action against Syria. And my uncle, Salvatore T. Papasa, I was only three when you were taken from us, and we love you and miss you very much. And President Obama, please do not bring us to another war. As the U.S. marked the 12th anniversary of the attacks on the World Trade Center and Pentagon, Chile commemorated what's known as the first 9-11, the September 11, 1973 U.S. back coup that overthrew President Salvador Allende. In a ceremony at the presidential palace where her father was killed, Allende's daughter, Chilean Senator Isabel Allende, said truth and justice is the only path to healing from the coup's lingering damage. Only truth and justice will allow us to come back together as a country, and the ethical values and the values that never again break the democracy, never again have a coup, never to break constitutional order again, never again to hunt someone down because of their beliefs, never again torture or state terrorism.